Welcome back to my satisfactory let's play. This is episode 12 and I'm Draco Artisan. Um, on the last episode we started working on the transport uh, hub. I'm uh, going to continue that, but first of all I've got a few things that I uh, need to take care of. One is the space elevator, so you may see a couple of uh, new structures here. Um, I realized that I was doing some of the parts that I needed for the adaptive control units and the, what was the other one? Uh, modular engines. So the smart plating was already being made and it was being made uh, before I revamped this and I had a stockpile of the smart plating. Um, so, so I already have a little bit left over. Um, so I made individual machines to go ahead and run those. Uh, some of them needed computers and I needed computers anyway and then heavy modular frames so um, that's kind of what you're seeing here. So uh, all actuality after we get done with the space elevator lock here. Take all those. Should be 500. Um, so just to be uh, clear I had some machines and did some engines, did some computers. This is the rest of my stuff I had to make room for for my inventory. This is doing some um, circuit boards uh, with an alternative recipe. This one's doing the adaptive control unit. And you'll see the blueprint thing that I set here because here in a second, I will show you that one because I've been doing working on the blueprints for the transportation uh, module that I've been working on. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do all of this first. Seal it. And send it. Seven and eight. Alright, so that's probably the last one that I've completed uh, before in any of my other Let's Plays. So this set of uh, Phase 4 stuff, yeah. I've not even attempted to touch it. So, um, this opens up whole new stuff. I've never done aluminum before. I've never unlocked Mark 5's. Hazmat suit would be nice. But I need the aluminum for that. Um, yeah. There's a whole lot of stuff. Drones would be fun to get into. Supercomputers. The hover pack. I mean, yeah, nuclear power, oh my, advanced um, minor mark threes, particle enrichment all sound amazing. So right now I can't really do any of this, um, maybe the bauxite aluminum stuff. Um, so we can go ahead and select this as one of our milestones. Um, because we'll need that for everything else. Now, since I was doing the heavy modular frames and the engines, I went ahead and I stockpiled some stuff for this a lot. So, uh, this is gonna get us going quite a bit in our ways. We can't unlock that yet because of the uh, ammo. Can unlock those because of the modular frames. So let's go down to the sulfur. Can you say yes to turbo fuel? Alright. Um, can you say yes to explosive rebar? How about some cluster noblesk? I think so. Can you say yes to the rifle? I'm gonna have to be making one of those. All right, that's gonna take turbo fuel and aluminum casings, and that's gonna take uranium. Um, but I don't know. Does that mean we can we can't afford it? What do I need? Smokeless powder, and I think. Hold on. I didn't put smokeless powder there, um, but I know where to get some of that. I didn't put any there. Um, 
neat little trick somebody told me was go here. It's regular black powder. Um, nothing there. Um, nothing there. Nope. 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 Um, I really want to open up that other hand slot. So, um, probably wondering how I got smokeless powder. Uh, I went ahead and I set up a temporary over in the, uh, over in our oil fuel production area. So let me take you over there really quick and then show you because there's something else that I wanted to show you guys. And that is the transportation. Uh, I've got a good start on that. Now that I got blueprints and I've worked it out, sort of, um, we have it going. And I've done some uh, upgrades to it. So uh, you can see some blue lights. So, come on, you can do it. Oh, I didn't bring my stuff with me to put this in there. Um, so uh, what I've done is this includes everything, um, but just let me show you uh, how I've done this. So I can pull up the blueprint, right? It's going to tell me I don't have enough. So I have a section that's either the right or the left section. Okay. So it's, it's these parts here and this part here. So I can do it either way because it mirrors on both sides. So I just need one blueprint to do one side and that contains everything um, that I needed. Uh, also, I've done the center um, blueprint. Okay. So that goes in between the two ends and that one's a little easier to work with. And it's got this whole floor and lights and stuff up there. So if we jump up here, let me show you as long as I don't fall into the abyss. Uh, come on. Not wanting to cooperate. There we go. So I've got the conveyor belts in there. So all I have to do is link up the conveyor belts and I already have the power action so it's nothing to go in here and you know hit um this and oh, it's gonna let me get through there and connect them so it's one continuous line so uh and then i can hook the power up that way uh, it'll go good with the um uh central power hub uh, or central storage that I'm wanting to do the power thing. So on this, it's got the lights. So um, this one here, we just connect from here. And we hit the center of that one. Um, because I may need to change these lights out. Um, but again, it's got um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think eight, three, six, seven, eight, eight uh, lanes belts. We could take some of these belts out, put tubes in. Uh, pipes, whatever. Um, on top, I have everything, including the um, painted uh, center area, the lights, uh, the railings, those lights. These lights may change. Um, but I went ahead and I put down three of these trucks just to see how much room. I was thinking just two, but I can have three, three uh, trucks across here. We went ahead and I painted on some lines just to see. So if we come up to an intersection, one truck may need to go off left or this outer one can go off right. We can do this turn, but then the center one can keep on going straight. We do three this way and three this way. So pretty cool. So that's what I've been uh, working on. Um, this section up here, I'm going to have to take it down because it didn't have all the pieces. Uh, that I do in the blueprint. This was pre-blueprint. But now that I've got the blueprint thing, uh, we'll have to take this off. And then I have to do a blueprint for um, curves. So I'll have to figure that all in um, because this it's got some curves that 
had to go around certain obstacles like this one had to come out far enough away from the cliff and those types of things then i want to do a blueprint for the radar tower um stand or ledge so i need to work on that but let's go on over here and um grab some smokeless powder so we can get the pocket inflate and then after that uh we'll make the rifle um and uh we'll go off to the transport hub so but it is coming along so i got this whole section and then i'm gonna have to figure out what to do here so yeah i'm not exactly sure what to do on these inclines or declines so and again it'll be one blueprint when i figure out you know what i need to do so blueprints are going to come in handy when it comes to a lot of this tedious stuff like doing this bridgeway so this bridgeway will have to some of it's going to have to come down i think most of this up here is on a curve so um but we're getting there slowly getting there so i think i only needed 50 but let's go ahead and grab a few stacks of smokeless powder just so if we need it for our rifle or whatever uh, we can do that so pretty excited this is getting into some realms that i haven't um done all this new tier stuff I, and the phase four stuff for the space elevator it's all new to me so it is all new and i went around and i i cleaned up some of my um chest there's still one hiding out that way great it's hiding out that way so and this is where i set up the uh smokeless powder so i had a pipe right here that already had some um heavy residual heavy oil residue then i just came up set up a dump tank i don't know why it's not running is it full it is full so let's grab a few of these so that can get running and then I had a whole inventory full and how much is gone? Oh, we can put the rest of that in there. So let's take all that. And let's put that in there. And get rid of this. And then once this is gone, it's gone. Um, I'll end up setting up something a little more permanent. A lot of this is just temporary. So. Um, but yeah. And this is going to disappear too, I think. Um, there's a spot over by the desert area that has um, several nodes of oil. Um, I think there's a couple of pure ones that... Oops. Come on. Uh, that I want to tap into for the fuel. So, um, yeah, that's, that's where I want to move it. I'm going to change all this over to plastics, oil, probably Coke, designate this over here for all of that. So, um, I think it'll work out better. And when I get done, um, putting up the radar towers, we'll be able to see exactly, um, more. I know there's some oil nodes over in the, uh, Oh, the barrier, the, the reef, um, biome. So, um, but yeah. All right. Um, go ahead and meet you guys back over at our base, our starter base. And then uh, we'll unlock that pocket, um, pocket uh, expansion and do the rifle so hold on let's go ahead and unlock the pocket um, expansion six additional slots okay 
So now all we're left with is these two, and until we do the uranium, the aluminum, I'm not going to be able to undo those. These are supercomputers and the ammo, so maybe on the next episode we'll work on this one here. Um, but, uh, why we're here, since I have the motors and everything, let's go ahead and drop these in here. Don't have enough of the rubber yet. So, well, let's go ahead and drop that in there, and then I'll pick some more up on the way. And then at the end of the episode, uh, we'll get aluminum unlocked. So, um, let's look at the rifle and the ammo to cluster. Rifle, what do we need for the rifle? Motors and the rubber steel pipes and screws all right so I'm gonna have to gather all that stuff uh, and then I'll bring you actually let's go ahead and just go straight over the transport uh, hub um, and then I don't know if I got 250 screws because I've been dumping them all into heavy modular frames let's see oh I do Sweet. All right, let's take all these. And then... Um, oh, I have a bunch of screws in there. I'm just missing rubber. So let's go ahead and dump this in there. And we'll keep a stack of screws. Oh, shoot, I was doing it the wrong way. Jeez, that was good. Way to go. And uh, did we see what we needed for the ammo? Because I didn't see the ammo there. What do we need for the ammo? Rifle ammo. Copper sheets. So we could make a bunch of um, ammo. The copper sheets are here. Get a few of those. And we'll get a few of those and then make some more. Okay. So steel pipes, rubber, so. And I just dumped all that rubber over there, too. This is where the central story, Jerry O, come in. Because I have to run all the way back over and pick that up. So let me go grab it and be right back. All right. So I think I have everything here. Let's go ahead and... Wrap that up. Oh, just one. Actually, let's do a backup just in case I die. And then we'll leave it in the ammo. Okay. So I've started making a spare chest after my last death. So, putting it in there. Alrighty. So, let us. Uh, take out the boom box. We'll put in the rifle. Let's reload it. There we go. Um, all right, so now off to the transportation hub and meet you guys over there. Changing plans um, before we head over to the transportation area. Uh, I already have enough uh, rubber, so let's go ahead and do dump this in here. And then we'll go ahead and send this off. Milestone reached. 
Quartz and bauxite scanning unlocked. A new generation of basic aluminum parts is now available, which can be constructed from bauxite after a complex process of refinement. The blender will be used in future processes. Alright. I think we'll go ahead and um doesn't matter which one I do because they're all gonna take aluminum. So let's go ahead and put down the logistics one. And then uh now we'll go ahead and go over to um the transportation area. So I will meet you over there. Okay, so I'm over at the central storage transportation hub area. Uh, I'm underneath the um, roadway. Uh, so let me just go up here and show you uh, where what I've got done. Um, so the blueprints make it very nice. And let's go ahead and do that really quick. Actually, let's just let's let's work on the truck area and then we'll go back up there because i dropped off some inventory to make some room um so i'm thinking about putting the truck thing down here and then up in this area i've started marking off uh some areas to put the train um station so i think this would be a good area it's not that tall um to put the the truck and I've marked off these pad areas where I kind of want to like put the truck, but I've got to watch out for this tree. Uh, and I want to put the truck stations so that they're like in a spot um, that won't interfere with that. So I'm thinking about putting them back to back. Um, I think that'll work out really well. So for instance, um, if we look at this, and I want to put it like at the back of that one foundation. So I left these so I can tell where the foundations are. Um, that way trucks could come in here and then they could pull in here and then leave. And then go back up on the ramps. So I'll have some exit ramps to get off and then on so they can dump stuff. Um, so I'm thinking about moving this one to face the other direction. And then that gives me a spot here in the center um, for inventory to come. And then we can like wall off uh, this area. Um, so that's kind of my thought um, right now. And this is enough spot uh, that I can like do a ramp that comes down here or and then gets back on there or up there or wherever. And then same way here on this side. And we'll go up there in a second and I'll show you. Um, but I'm thinking eight um, truck stations. And I'm thinking four train stations um, will be a good sufficient number. Um, I don't know again until, you know, I would imagine that I could just drop off supplies. I've never set up transportation hub, so, you know, I'm kind of trying to think about this in a, uh, an easy hassle-free way of, of dumping off, uh, resources, uh, to the central storage area. So I've never done a central storage area either. So, you know, mine's been an open floor with some boxes on it, like my starter bases and that's kind of been the thing. So, oh, that one's too far. Um, let's move this back. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of my thought. And then we could have a road that goes this way and then connects up there. Um, you know, whatever. But I didn't center this on here. Um, like I wanted this is open because of the mm -hmm. the uh, I don't know blueprints so uh, this right here I can't get rid of this um so yeah no matter what I I I want to do uh, I can't get rid of this thing so it won't 
cut down, it won't blow up, it won't do anything. Um, so I need to set this back to where the trucks can come in here and they're not going to be interfered with. So, um, that's kind of my thought and then build up a wall. But really, I want to work on the, um, let's just go up here. Come on, you can do it. Okay. So again, this is where the rails go in. And then this up here is where the trucks are. Um, so I've got this set up as an intersection. Um, and so my thought is um, down here, I'm going to put uh, two train stations um, that will take trains um, going uh, this way and then this way. So, um, what is that? A north and a south. So they'll face north and south. And then I want two train stations over here that'll do the east and west. And then that way, um, you can see I, I've laid out this thing to be even with the, the, the where the train tracks are going to be or the rails. Um, and I want this one to face uh, east and west so that they can like come off and then go in and then continue or circle back around and go the other way. Um, so that's why I picked four. And these two areas, this one here and then this one over here is kind of the more open areas. So I think this would be perfect for that. Um, so that's kind of where I'm getting at. Uh, so to show you this blueprint, since I didn't have enough last um, earlier today, earlier in this episode um let me show you how those work so one two three four and then um go to blueprints transportation then i have the half version two um and i just got rid of it blueprints oh Okay. Um, so. Oh, I don't have enough concrete. That's a shame. It's a good thing I have a bunch sitting here. Okay. I don't know why I didn't have enough concrete. All right, let's try this again. Blueprints. Version two. And this is where it gets a little finicky. So I've got to get in there and then scoot it down to where it turns green. Once I know it turns or blue like that, it's good to go because it's fit in between this block and that block and I know it's lined up. Okay. So that's one whole section. Okay. Um, so to show you, um, it'll fit on both sides. I'll just delete these two, three, four and then do blueprint and then half so it's facing when I did it over here face this way so I just face it this way and scoot it down and I don't know why but most of the time this side here is tends to be a little better I say that and I jinx myself but Oh, there it was. There. Two, three, four. And I'll do this one again so I can show you how the center fits in there. So, um, this was my first, or well, this was my second round at going uh, with this uh, blueprint and making it work. This is the best way that I found to make it work. So, and then for the center, uh, transportation center. And then uh, this is usually a lot easier. It turns blue right away, it matches up. And when you go up, you see everything just lines up. So that's pretty nice. And I'll have to figure out something with that tree. Okay, so rails let's talk about rails 
Um, so, um, I need rails at this intersection. This is going to be the busiest area. And what I've heard is you can do rails at three. So I want rails to go down the center here, this line here, and then down this line. Um, so if I look at this one, two, I'm going to put a rail right here and see if this works. Um, line it in the center and then go this way and then come down I don't know wherever um, let's go here and then make sure that uh, the line uh, lines up so I mean the lines themselves with the rail see it lines up with the line in the foundation and then go ahead and click it I'm gonna go ahead and whoops take it connect it here go around this bin and then go to where um it lines up on the line again so there and then go ahead and take this out i don't know wherever um maybe we'll stop right there okay all right um so it goes there and then it goes over there so it's like a three founded one two three okay um i have no way of helping this clipping but this is the most minimum way that i know to uh not clip um i don't know why that came out as like two breaks but whatever uh, I need this to mark this one so now what I can do is I can start there and then come back and this helps me know where my lines are so I always have to take a rail and go out that way to get it to curve um, I don't know if that's what normally everybody else has to do but it's what I found that works so again I'm aiming towards the center and putting it there then I'm going over here to this clicking here and then this one here I'm gonna I don't know I'm gonna move it out to here because it goes on the incline and then take this rail and get it to where it's flat again and then um whoops move over here Aim to at the center, move this rail out, um, put it there, and then take this, and there. Okay, so, um, these here um this train may need to go straight to make a delivery right so i want to go and make sure that we have no nope. first of all let's go ahead and and make these go because i need these i need these now to go out so we can make those connections so let's go ahead and even out these lines And then, again, this is what I found is easy for me. Um, somebody may have something easier. I mean, if you do, by all means, let me know. Um, I'd like to hear about it, but this is just kind of what's worked for me. Okay, so I'm going to do right side um, drive. Uh, that's just what I'm used to. So everything I do is going to be on the right side. So we know a train's going to go this way. And it could go straight. So let's go over here and then make this connection. Okay. And then I know a train could go uh, make a left. For whatever reason, there may be a reason that that train needs to go to left. So we're going to take this 
And I'm gonna make that connection. Okay. So now that takes care of this whole uh, track lane here. Okay. So I'm gonna go back over here to this right lane. And I'm just gonna do everything from the right. That way I just, I know it can't, you know, goof up, right? So make that connection. So we already have our right turn. We have our straight. Now it may need to go left. So let's make sure that we go left. Okay. So then now that's that one. Go over here to this right one. And again, it's going to go straight. Okay. What is going on? I don't know. Too close to another switch. Okay. I don't know why that is. Um, maybe we have to do the straight ones first. Okay. Okay. And then... Let's do this again. Okay. And then this one may need to go again to the left, right? Although we probably need to do this straight away. So let's go here. And there. And then this is going to go. Right there. All right. So it takes care of the right, left, straight. And this one here is going to need to go that way. So we got right, straight, left. Okay. So right, straight, left. Right, straight, left. Right, straight, left. All right, looks like a mess, uh, but this is kind of what I've, I've come up with. Um, we'll see if it'll work when I go to put it all together, but, uh, and then I think on this one here, um, you can actually switch these. And I don't know what this one goes to, but so. I don't know. Anyway, any who's it. Um. I'm not going to sit there and switch all those, but anyway, you guys get it. All right, so. Uh, the reason I want to set this all up is because now that the train state or the intersections there, uh, we can go look at the train stations. And I think to make things easier, um, I want to try to keep the sizes about the same. Uh, so uh, I think I want to go um, and this is going to be interesting. So, I think this is everything I need for the trains. But we'll see how much I get. Um, I don't think we need these right now. But I want to get this stuff. I think I kind of mapped out what I needed and some of this stuff here is like extra. 
so um so this is the same level as what we were working on with those train tracks in there so we know that they can stay um about the same level so um one two three four five six seven this is number seven these things come in three so if we look one two three four so if i go here um let's get rid of these oops that'll give me a mark and then this is seven hour right so if i put my first set of train and i want to run this one east to west or north to south i can't remember now um and it's gonna be important because one side I won't have to fight uh, these things. Um, it might be better to do this one um, east to west and then that one um, north to south. So let's do that. So we're going to run it um, this way because this has a lot more space going this way. So since we have a train track that'll be on this side, I think I want to put the um, exit uh, over here. Uh, and what I mean by that is so when we go to the train station, there's a little arrow that gives me a point. Um, to go to um, so um, I know I need to stay so far over um, so I want to try to give that it looks like I need to build this foundation out a little bit more. and let's put on the zoo And we could probably get away with one station or two stations. Um, I mean, anybody can drop into those stations. You just give it a place. Um, I'm just thinking about bottleneck. And I have four cardinal directions and I've got this split. So why not put in, you know, four stations? To me, that's just kind of my thought. So um where is i lost my number seven didn't i all right so that's one two three four five six seven so it's this bump out right here um and i probably want to go ahead and put it in this line here and give me a enough space so I want to put it here and then it's going to be easier to look this way, isn't it? Okay. So one, two, three, and then we want it on this line, right? It's hard to see, isn't it? So put it here. Okay, that gives me, it still doesn't, it still looks like it came over quite a bit, doesn't it? And then that should line me up on the center of this. So that'll work. Um, I'm thinking that we'll probably have four, um, four freights coming out. Um, I don't know if that's the case but i i want to say that's probably it um so what makes it nice is uh doing the 
the two stations, I can move these uh, import and export things towards the, the center. So, so that's two, three, four. Okay. Um, and I don't know if I have enough for the train. Um, I do. Sweet. All right. Since that one's going to be leaving that way. Uh, I also wanted to play with something else, but anyway. Um, so we'll leave it there for now. All right. So that now takes care of that. So let's just make it so we're safe. And I think these are four or five thick. So one, two, three, four. So we'll say five. So I want to go out another, I don't know, five or six. Let's go out six. And that goes out 10. You're going to be a problem, aren't you? Um, come on. Okay. Um, and we'll go out there. Okay. Oops. I think I can go on this side and not interfere with that. Just gotta remember there's a hole there and I don't fall down it. Just typically end up doing that. I typically end up doing that for sure. And there. Alright. So now this one's gonna go out this way. Um, because we want to take the north to south tracks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to give this enough space. So, uh, we want to be close to... I'd like to line these up, too. Because, you know, that would be nice. So, it's... Lined up there. Um, and I think my problem is it's not going to line up on the center. But we'll see. Okay, that one actually did. No. I want to scoot it over. A little bit. It's going to be helpful. Um, the reason I'm doing that is it's going to be helpful for me. Um, to. Um, put out the tracks. So let's see. There we go. And then we'll do four of these and we'll put them towards the center. And then that way there's, it'll be clean on the outside. Two, three, and four. Okay. So now what can happen is uh, they'll go down this track. Um, this one will just come in here. So let's go ahead and mark this out. Um, which means I need to take the track back further. I hope I have enough metal, steel. Come on. There we go. Uh, we'll see. And we'll do a long track. Until it won't go any further. And 
there. And then we'll take this. Um, and then we need to do both of them because we'll have to have an out and an in. Tracks go quite a ways, don't they? Okay. And we'll just end them this thing. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to get these um, tracks to curve off and be straight. And then I'll play with how that. plays out so um, it looks like I don't know if this is gonna come out straight um, but we know it comes here and then we can make that run all right so that's gonna come in through here right um, so let's just get rid of this okay. all my hard work right all right so that'll come in there and then um, we need this side over here to go out um, so ideally what I would like is for these to kind of um, go by each other and then out that way uh, so Let's see. Um, which means I probably need to. Need to take this out more, don't I? Let's go there. And then let's get this. Right. Well, shoot. So if I go back till this is flat, that's right there. Right? Then how does that look? We'll see what it looks like here in a second. And what I'll do is I'll do this side, show you guys, and then I will um, do the other side for the next one and show you guys uh, how that turned out. So, um, and I still need to clear that tree. Darn it. Really don't want to clear trees. So, um, I don't know, I think it, it works the same. So if we go, um, let's see if this works. 
Can I give this to you? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It needs to go back one more, doesn't it? That would be nice if it did, but I don't think it will. Okay. So let's go back. Oops. So there. Nope. Okay. How about there? Yes. Okay. Actually, I think I did that wrong. So if this one is coming down and then goes into this station, right? Because the train thing's down there. It needs to circle back and go on the other side. This is coming in on the other side. It needs to go around and connect on this. So I did this wrong. So you guys see what I'm saying? So train traveling from uh, the south direction comes in here, goes around, then goes into this station here. This one needs to turn around and then go back out that way. So. Do, 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 do. Let's just work on one train at a time. Because it needs to make a loop, right? So, yeah. That's a thing. You really there, and then I just want to see. So, this would need to come and tie in here to go left. Uh, So it's like I need another break here. So let's just cut in here and see. That's not be cut into there, is it? No. Um, the other thing we could do then is Did we just cut it and then go back that same way? So can I cut it and go so the further out I go there to go like that take this the train's not gonna that plant's gonna give me a problem okay 
I'm just afraid here that train is going to clip in to this. I need power. I don't have power. Let's get out. No, I got a power pole here as a temporary. I just want to see if it's clipping. So, two. Too long. They all shoot. Okay, let's just put it here for now. And now is that still too long? Is it still too long? Wire is too long. Okay, fine. But now. Where did you just look to? No! Oh, you're being a pain. Okay, there we go. Now I have power. Okay. E, drive. Hello? Alrighty, I'm back. Uh, so what happened was the Satisfactory game crashed twice on me um, when I was when I was trying to hook up the uh, uh, rail line and get in the train. Um, so um, I have clearance. Like that is very surprising for me that I have clearance. Uh, so. I was gonna say, did I just crash or that's auto save this time? Um, all right. So, um, but yes, I have clearance. So this will work. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it like this. Um, so I just need to make the connection here. So, um, it needs to go in the left, um, bound lane, so, oops, let's figure out that. So I think putting it here, I don't know, I think it's going to look janky because it's it's crossing all these so i think what i'd like to do is try to clear this up a little bit and um maybe we just make this spot here a little wider and then we take out this we take out that and then um let's find out uh how this like I don't know I want it to turn but it's not cooperating maybe we need to go back further with that too So let's do this. Let's put this back in the train station. Train station. So it does clip through that plant though, doesn't it? Okay. No, brakes, 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 brakes. There we go. Forward. Okay. 
We'll just park it there for now. So let's take some of this out and put this in here. Um, I don't know. Let's try it there and then see if I can get this somehow come in here and make this connection. Um, I'd like to get it where it would connect somewhere in here. Or somewhere there. Or even there here would be nice. Because then it would put it close to the other track. Um, so... Yeah, if I could get this to run there. So, let's see if we can make that happen. Let's see if we can make this happen. a little more huh I think that's okay so now obviously it's freaking me out now I'm thinking the game's getting ready to go a douche on me all right let's just see this stuff's gonna get cleaned up anyway all right train than cleaning up this um you know that's kind of what i'm i'm thinking so it'll go in through here circle around and come back out through here so now we need to do the same thing for um the one on the other side and so now that's all the way over there but what we can do, I think, is uh, that's right. My game restarted. Is we can just tap into um, this line right here so this line here 
Uh, is the one coming from over there? So it'll it'll let me show you. So we're just working on the north, the south lines. So this one coming from the north will come through here. All right, and it will go through here, and then we'll make it go into there then come back out and then go this way so we need to extend this line um, let's see what this looks like and this will go whoa and it's not gonna go in there too sharp a turn so I need to go back a little bit So let's take this back one. And let's see if that'll go in there. There we go. And then I'll clear out this here. Um, and so now what I can do is I can take this rail and it'll go around here. And if I can make it work, um, it should tap into this line right here. So, I don't know how that long. So let's see if I can get this now to go right. right there I'm hoping all this works <laughs> I would think they would work but again I'm I'm not sure so apparently this all has power whoa I'm getting close to my production level, so we may have to look at some uh, doing the uh, turbo fuel, setting that up in between our builds here for the transportation hub. All right, so I'm not exactly sure why this sign is here. Again, trains is something that I haven't really messed with, so I don't know. You know, I don't know. So let's just see if this is going to work. So I should be able to do a complete circle here with this train. So let's go here to transport and electric locomotive and let's run it that way. This is the way that it would come in. Let's drive it. And oh, why didn't it turn? takes care of this whole station um, and then um, 
all I need to do is clean this up and then figure this out. Uh, you know, how to get this to look. Presentable, I guess. Um, the other thing that I wanted to look at was, um, getting these, I don't know. I want to dress this up, but I'm not sure how to dress it up. So, I don't know. It just, this kind of ends for me. Like, it just ends. There's no, you know, I don't know. We could put, um, I don't know, like a, a two meter. So, you know, that, that goes right in. Um, I don't know. I, I, I want to, you know, I want, I want to try to figure this out uh, to make this look a little better. So I'll play with that with the next one, next episode. Um, but I think this is a good spot, uh, to leave off. Um, the episode's running long, so I, I just, I don't know. I, I want to play with this more and then see, um, what I can do. Um, I think this would look pretty cool. We just covered this over and then just made this all one. I don't know. Figure it out. Figure it out. I guess I could climb up there, huh? <laughs> Alright. Um, but that'll leave us here for uh, this episode. Uh, look forward to you guys on the next episode of Satisfactory. Uh, where I think we'll go mess with some turbo fuel. Looking at my power situation now. And with adding these um, train stations. Uh, seems like uh, we may need some power. I don't know. That was a big jump, so. Um, I guess I could just turn them off for now, right? Can I just do that? Can I, or I can just sever this line for now until we get all cleaned up. Can I turn this off? I cannot turn this off. So one way we can do that is just by doing that. Okay. Power is off on the train stations. And, yep, that is a big, so we'll watch this. I'll leave the uh, trains off for now. Um, and they can sit there. Uh, I got a whole nother two that I want to put over on this side, but I want to play with, um, you know, uh, this. Uh, I got a lot of things going on right here, so. Uh... But yep, I will see you guys on the next one. So remember, as always, stay creative. Thanks. Bye.